Hello, Jonathan Biznet here, and today I have for you a circuit that's driving an LCD, a 1x12 LCD display. As you can see, uh, it's connected to a relatively small circuit here, which is uh, an Atmel ATmega 328P processor uh, running on a breadboard type thing. Basically, it's uh, like a uh, an Arduino on a breadboard, it just doesn't happen to have the bootloader in it. It's wired up uh, basically, as you can see here, with a 16 megahertz clock, some power, and on the other side, uh, a couple of the pins that need to be have been uh, taken high or taken low. Uh, this device over here is actually a, a little device I came across that allows me to uh, program the, uh, the chip directly uh, using an ISP type format and that connects uh, that connects to the computer uh, just through its USB port so much like you would uh, an Arduino except in this case uh, again no bootloader and I'm, I'm programming the chip directly instead of uh, more in a uh, download fashion. Additionally you'll see I've got uh, several other cables here uh, coming off the uh, off a header that I've got into the chip that go over and into the uh, the LCD. Interestingly enough, when I first got this LCD and put it in, tried some of the uh, code that was out there, I plugged it into an Arduino and basically swore the thing must have been broken. I got absolutely nothing on the display. It looked as though it was dead. Uh, I did happen to go out and doing some digging around came across a site which I've included in the uh, the introduction uh, of this uh, video uh, in the text. I came across a site that actually laid it out and I found uh, several documents on there. Uh, one of them uh, one of them here and I, you'll be able to find the document on the site actually laid out some important information about the display, uh, how the pins were organized, uh, basically uh, showing you the electronic symbols, etc., for how it's connected and how it works. Uh, this was uh, very helpful in at least getting it wired correctly. I also happened to come across uh, the, um, the information about the microcontroller or the the LCD controller that's on the uh, on the board itself. In this case, it happens to be a micro PD7225. Uh, and then <clears throat> the the individual who who had this site had been playing with a very similar thing, and had done some initial programming. And at the very end, he'd revised his code, and he has some Arduino code here, uh, some C code uh, that supposedly runs it. I was able to take his code and adapt it. In my case, I I wrote the code I have in Assembler, but I was able to use his code as a guide for adapting my code to make this work. And as you can see, it's going through its paces right now. I just have it putting out some numbers there. It's putting out a string of numbers, different string of numbers. Then it'll actually scroll the numbers onto the display. Uh, I just basically put it through a couple of different steps uh, to kind of see it work, see how it does. Uh, very interesting device. Uh, once I got over the mystery, it was not very difficult to use, but uh, it uh, it's tough to find the information for. So definitely look at the uh, URL in the uh, intro to the video to find out some more information about it. Uh, very cool, uh, cool toy, kind of fun to play with. Uh, it's uh, driven in a serial mode. You basically clock the bits in uh, one at a time. It is an LCD 7 segment so it really doesn't effectively display characters in this particular case. Uh, the, the particular LCD board I picked up I think for about a dollar or a dollar and a half uh, in this case off of eBay but they're very cheap out there and it is a KTM-S1201 uh, so if you're looking for it uh, interesting piece not too bad to program once you figure it out I uh, can drive it pretty pretty easily off of an either an Arduino or one of the other microcontrollers that are out there. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you.